how has the pandemic changed the Filipinos' mindset when it comes to making financial investments? Based on the results of the latest study of Manual Life, many young Filipinos covered in our survey, Gen Z's and Millennials, are actually starting to take the necessary steps to secure financially their future. So in terms of their um, top concerns like um, running out of money or being in debt, this actually fueled their top priorities, which include uh, saving money and becoming financially independent. So um, the pandemic has somehow accelerated the financial adulting of the young Filipinas included in our survey, causing shifts in their behavior that put saving, investing, and necessities in their top priorities. But what about, uh, especially when uh, we're talking about investments here, one of the major concerns also would be taking up offshore funds. Has there mm -hmm. been a huge increase when it comes to that? Correct, correct. So actually, there is no single asset class that outperforms across market cycles. And the pandemic has affirmed this view and highlighted the importance of diversifying investments geographically because the local bond market and equity market can move in the same direction. So that's the one of the important benefits of um, Offshore investments is that it allows investors to, to access investment themes that are not available locally and also um, themes that benefit from structural trends that, that's amplified by the pandemic like uh, healthcare and technology. So the good thing is today, Filipinas can actually easily access offshore funds at very affordable minimum investment size. So for example, in the case of Manulife Investment Management, many of our UITFs that invest offshore can be accessed by Filipinos at the ticket size of just 100 US dollars or 5,000 pesos.